I'm getting a nice drop of paint on half of the brush and then I'm wiping both sides off and that's the amount of paint I'm using alright this is where I have to be careful let's see if we can focus on this a little better It's important I like to pull my lines this direction like that I don't want to go out that way there's a certain way I can pull my wrist arm and everything where I can get a nice straight line so I want to make sure my parts pointed in that direction where I'm trying to go may have waited a little too long for that paint on the brush. Let's clean it, wipe it off, and get some more. Go right to it. There we go. I'm not getting right up on it for the first one, because that's a lot of paint. told me she always knows when I'm painting a straight line because I hold my breath. And I've heard a tip from a real good guy that pinstripes cars that you should have a nice even breathing while you're doing straight lines. It may apply more on a long car. I'm trying to do a pinstripe down it. You can see that. Make sure I'm not painting the incorrect section. Alright, again, I turn the part so it's going the direction I want it to. I'm not worried about those corners yet. I'll go ahead and apply as much paint as I can, as close as I can. Doing my best not to get onto the yellow. I'm going to have black going back right there in between the yellow and the gray. So that's something I added at the last minute. I thought it gave a nice definition to the color break. So I can add that color. I could have done it first. And then if I get off with one or the other, I can go back over the edge with the other color to clean it up. I'm not worried about the curves. I'm doing straight lines. I'm getting all the paint I can, as smooth as I can. Nice even pulls with the brush. Same amount of paint just about every time there. Kind of cheating, I'm doing a second coat over this same spot already. So be careful if that was straight plastic. This tends to grab to that lacquer paint a little better than the raw plastic. Raw plastic's a little slick, so that's why that first step of cleaning the plastic was very important. And then even sanding it real fine grit sandpaper All right. and I have my lamp on the other side of me so I need to move that around like I said bear with me we'll get through these so I'll probably have four or five parts of this video here and I need to leave this section alone this is too many layers All right. We're basically around that pretty close. I can clean up some of the corners. And you see I have some indentions that'll help. <clears throat> It'll help guide my brush as I go around those. Um, if you get off 
There's one reason for my nails. If, say, we got some gray onto the yellow, I can hurry up and either wipe it off or scratch it off lightly with the tip of my nail. They seem longer on the camera. I'm going to cut them before the next video. I'm tired of some of these guys wanting to burn on somebody. Alright. So there's our first coat. I'm going to let that dry real good before we go back over it. may have run out of time so if I haven't been cut off already let's finish this part up with one more coat and I'll end the first part of the video there and figure out what's going on it may have went into the second video so Starting down in the crevices. I'm going to pull that out. All one direction at first. When you're trying to spread the paint out, it's nice to pull it in one direction. And then as it lightly dries, you can start lighter and lighter and lighter brushing. Kind of back and forth. Kind of like you're dry brushing something. And we're going to get into a little bit of dry brushing too. It's a tip I shared on the transformers. But you can use it on the model cars too. A little bit lighter. Get a more realistic effect. Right. Let's keep going with this because I have a feeling we went in the video too. While all this stuff dries. I will show a few things. camera off and look at what we got for video footage start uploading that and continue on where we left off painting for the next video three I have a feeling zoom this back out we did cut and modify the wheels here if you remember I showed I had these rims that I cut off cut in half and cut the center section out of. And this one I've started working on the tire. Took some sandpaper over it and tried to make it look a little more realistic. Try to round off the edge there. So I'm going to do a little bit more. So you can see a difference there. And I did a lot of fouling around these very carefully. And they will fit right inside there, just right. The only thing is, I didn't want this lip. I wanted the chrome to show here. But now I'm thinking, I may not mind just the edge showing chrome. You know, it's kind of a waste of that whole nice chrome lip there. So we'll see. But since I did so much work to get these to this point, I'm kind of scared to cut them down lower and ruin them at this point. I got all four of them fitting nice and flush. And two of them are offset, so the two rear ones can sit deeper. And the steering wheel I did notice wasn't really the same pattern, same design. It's got some raised lines between that. I'm going to try to cheat and make it look like a little closer to these. Excuse me. I've got to black these out with some yellow trim so that they match. So little by little. <coughs> And speaking of, I know this stuff looks like a lot of work, and it is, especially when you try to do them at a very high detailed level. But just got to keep yourself motivated and doing it a little at a time. I know I do. So these videos and sharing it with you guys is helping me a little bit. A little bit. It's helping push me. There's the chassis. I did black out the frame. A 
let me know guys if anybody's actually following along and doing a model also be nice to know <clears throat> I'm gonna finish this video series anyways Come back to the upholstery for a while alright let me end it there and I'll set us up a little bit better with the light on the other side and get ready for coat number two, three, however far we can get. Thanks for watching so far. Peace.